Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to a new video. So in this one, we're gonna be looking at three really awesome products um, that you can drop ship and sell on your Shopify stores. As usual, we're gonna be looking at their buying price, selling price, profit margins, where you can source them from, and the Facebook tags and options. You guys seem to enjoy these videos, so I am making it a weekly thing. So for your weekly dose of product ideas, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. And of course, for your chance to win a one-to-one -one call with me, make sure you post your comment below. And I do read every single comment actually. So if there is a question you want to ask me, post it below um, and I will answer it for you. Before we jump into product number one, just a quick note to say that this keynote that I'm gonna be running through that contains all the links um, etc it is actually downloadable to download it so you have your own copy um, just check out the first link in the description below so that being said guys thanks for tuning in and let's jump straight into product number one which is this in my opinion really cool rocket nylite now this is something i've not seen around much there isn't many people advertising on facebook hence why i believe it to be such a good product to sell right now if you watched my previous videos on how to pick a good product you'll know that one of the ideal criteria when it comes to picking a product that's going to be successful on facebook is picking a product that not many people have seen before and this product matches that piece of criteria it's a new cool and quirky product not many people will have seen before and therefore it's an ideal product to advertise on Facebook because nobody's seen it before so therefore it's going to get quite a lot of attention the second point is is the fact that there's a huge market um, purely because a product like this would be advertised that parents obviously buying it for their child and the average Facebook user age now is 35 plus and the majority of the population at 35 do actually have children. So Facebook is kind of like the perfect platform to advertise a product like this. And what also makes this an ideal product to advertise on Facebook is when it comes to video ad creative opportunities, there's loads for this. So the first thing I thought of when I come across this product was if you've ever seen kind of like those 70s or 80s, um, when the rockets used to take off and they used to do like a countdown or I think it might have been even been um, at the beginning of films you'd have like a five four three you could have something similar and then as the countdown reaches zero then if you had a good kind of video editor or video creator you could have the flames kind of work their way down so it actually looks like the lamp itself is taking off um, so something like that i just think would be a really cool ad and would get a lot of attention and when it comes to advertising on social media then obviously the more attention you can get on your product and your ad um, then the better the next point is the fact that a product like this is actually on the upward trend believe it or not more and more people are searching for night lights so if i just open the link to illustrate this um, so nightlight is the search term we're looking worldwide 2004 to present you can see we're actually at peak popularity now so a product like this would be ideal to stick on your store now um, spend a couple of weeks creating some content around it um, some video ads perhaps even buy one yourself so you can film the video ads yourself um, and then yeah get kicked off straight away um, running ads for it one of the beauties obviously with dropshipping is the fact that it so quick to find new products get them on your store and start selling them immediately whereas with a typical brick and mortar store they'll have to do product development they'll have to do product samples source the products and so on so take advantage of the drop shipping um, business model and yeah get this on your store and start testing it now before we move into profit margins there's one point i forgot to mention um, that you should double check depending on what um country you're going to be selling to then obviously make sure the product comes with the correct plug if it is one that plugs into the wall some of the ones i found are rechargeable um, via usb so obviously they're going to be universal now in terms of the profit margin um, on average depending on what model you go for you're looking at about 14 pounds 97 including e-packet which is pretty decent um, and then I actually found the exact same product selling on Amazon for $34.99. So you can actually compete with what's on Amazon um, when it comes to this product, which is obviously a good thing. So on average, you're looking at about £20 and £2 profit um, minus your Facebook advertising costs. Now, if you can achieve a cost per purchase of £10, which is pretty reasonable nowadays, then you're looking at £10 per order or per sale profit. Um, which is very reasonable if you sell 10 of these a day that's a hundred pound profit per day 36 grand a year minus taxes and expenses which is a decent wage or at least the average uk wage as it currently stands um, today break even price wise then so if you do 34.99 divided by 20 pound and two pence is a 1.75 break even ROAS so when you are running your ad sets as long as your ROAS is above 1.75 then you know you're making a profit facebook targeting wise then one of the most important points when it comes to advertising any product I'll go for male and female. Obviously there's male and female parents. I'll go for 21 plus. 
and then parents with children of a certain age. To so to show you then how you would target people like this, uh, I've got my ad manager open here. We can go into here, add demographics, and we can go parents. And then it gives us all these different options here. And to be honest, I would probably run an ad set for each age group. So I would definitely go one to two, three to five, not to 12 months, six to eight. And I would go nine to 12 as well, even the one above that, if there is one, um, it doesn't look like there is. So I'd definitely test each and individual one, go fairly broad. Now I don't usually recommend going broad, but in this instance, I would to test it and then start narrowing down and focusing on what is actually working. So with that being said, then that is product number one. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please obviously hit that like button. Um, and if you didn't, if you don't think it's a very good product, um, leave a comment down below and let me know why. It's always interesting to get um, the viewer's point of view. Anyway, moving on to product number two, we have this portable blender bottle. Now bear with me. I know you've probably seen this before, but this is super relevant for this time of year or certainly from January onwards. Now, where the potential lies in a product like this is if you are gonna go down this route, then don't even focus about making a sale in the next three to four weeks. Focus on that second week of January onwards and take the time between now and then, buy one of each color, film your own ad, even send one or two, maybe even three off to quite small influencers that in return will send you three to five pieces of user generated content. Because when it comes to selling a product like this, if you can show people using it and demonstrate how it can make somebody's life easier, how it can help somebody be healthier, which is what like the majority of the population do from January onwards, um, then it's only gonna help your case and help you sell a product like this. It's all gonna be about the content, um, which we'll be speaking more about um, in a second. So it's perfect for early 2020 onwards. Um, it's a super relevant trend if we just open up the Google trend information. Now we can clearly see that blender bottles are actually approaching the most popular time that they've ever reached in the past 14, 15 years. So there's more people searching for this term than there ever has been, which makes this an ideal time to sell a product like this. And the market is so huge. It doesn't matter how many people are advertising in it. There's always going to be room to make some decent money. However, to do that, there's a couple of things you have to do. So number one, as it says here, no, be unique. It's a competitive niche. Yes, I accept that. But if you sell it differently, offer a USP, give somebody a reason to shop from you instead of somebody else. Um, and one of those reasons could be if you create a recipe ebook um, that you email with each sale. So they could go to somebody else like Blendjet, who are one of the big names, um, and buy this bottle, or they could come to you and get essentially the same product, but they get a free ebook with certain recipes um, for free, which is just an added bonus and an added reason to get customers to sell, um, to buy from you rather than somebody else. With a product like this, there's one product store potential. A lot of people like one product stores. They seem to be um, in demand at the moment, or a lot of people are into them. So if you do like that route and that strategy, then a product like this definitely demands enough attention to be able to do something like this because there's just endless content you can create. Um, just for example, then if I open up this link um, and show you the ad, the video ad, just to kind of give you ideas of the sorts of things that you can recreate. Um, just the more content you can produce around a product like this, then the better. The more uh, ways you can demonstrate how you can use it, where you can take it, um, the amount of people buying it and using it, then the better. And that kind of leads me on to my next point, in fact, which is you can piggy bank, piggyback off big brand names. So for example, Blendjet will be investing hundreds of thousands of pounds or dollars um, into advertising this product. And not everybody will buy that product the first time they see it. They might buy it the second time or the third time or fourth time they see it. And that might be when they actually see your ad. So for example, somebody might see it once or twice from Blendjet, um, just the bottle itself for $34.99, which is actually what they're retailing at. But then the third time they actually see your ad, see the fact it comes with a free ebook, and that's enough then to persuade them to actually make the purchase and they're buying it from you, not somebody else. Moving on to the numbers then, 1181 including an e-packet, that's about average across the board. Um, and then retail price wise, 34.99. And that's actually what Blendjet are selling it for themselves. So if they can sell it at that, then there's no reason why we can't, which leaves about 23 pounds profit. Again, if you can achieve a 10 pound cost per purchase, it's going to leave you um, a pretty healthy profit margin. And that doesn't include any upsells um, or cross sales or anything like that. Um, 34.99 divided by 23.18 leaves you with a 1.51 break-even ROAS. So again, as long as your ad sets are above that number, 
um, then you're gonna be making a profit. Now, when it comes to targeting a product like this, it's gonna be pretty broad, again, which I don't tend to recommend. So what I would do is go for female and male, um, it applies to both genders in my opinion. Go for 35 plus, I believe it's gonna be the L older generation um, in comparison to myself that would buy a product like this. I might be completely wrong, you could perhaps test lower if you have the budget to do so. And then I would go for ge generic fitness related interests, for example, like lose weight or running. And um, the reason being is because hardcore gym goers might not necessarily use a product like this or hardcore gym goers will be more aware that they can get a product like this from somebody else. Plus, if you take into account the fitness industry as a whole, most people aren't hardcore gym goers. The bulk of the industry is probably made up from people who have a little dabble every now and again, but aren't really that serious about it. So generic fitness related interests, I would also include the interests of online shopping, past purchase behaviors, and engaged shoppers. If you can target people that have a history of buying from Facebook ads, then of course that can only be a good thing. With that being said then, that wraps up product number two. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button. And moving into the third and final product then is this sofa cover. Now bear with me because this surprised me myself. Um, I weren't actually going to include this on the list, but it was too good to ignore. Um, the numbers were really good and it was popular with customers in the comment section as well. Um, I found a couple of Facebook ads for a product like this and people just seem to love a product like this. And the more I thought about it, the more it actually made sense. If you think sofas nowadays are pretty expensive, like for something like this that is pictured, you're probably looking at a best part of a thousand pound, a thousand dollars. And if you've had it for a few years and it starts to look a bit shabby, there's the odd rip. Instead of investing another thousand dollars into a sofa, you can buy something like this, which is 50, $60, and it makes it look like a new sofa. Like there's a huge cost saving to investing in a product like this versus a brand new sofa. So um, yeah, it's, it's, it's really popular with comments. Trust me, do your own research on this and you'll see what I mean. Point three, there's great Facebook ad capabilities. I wanna show you one ad in particular um, that um, gained my attention because it just illustrated the product really nicely and what it can actually do. Um, and one of the points I wanted, uh, which is actually on the keynote as well, is that an ad that kind of like demonstrates the before and after, like something like this where you have the original sofa, um, this like time lapse of how long it actually takes to fit and the difference and improvement it can actually make, um, then it's just advertising gold. Uh, it, it just really is, and it's gonna get lots of good feedback and attention on social media, which again is only gonna be a good thing. Back to the keynote then, and as I already mentioned, um, before and after photos would work really well for a product like this. Um, now, before and after photos aren't allowed in the fitness industry where you show somebody's body, um, but when it comes to sofas, there's no problem at all. I've already checked that one out. Um, next point is there's not many advertisers on Facebook, which is obviously a good thing. Um, the less competitive a product is, the better. Um, and it's actually on an upward trend and it's at peak popularity, believe it or not. Um, so again, I just wanna prove this to you and show you the data. So sofa cover worldwide, 2004 to present. As you can see from kind of like 2013, it's just crept up and up and up. So nowadays there's more and more people looking for a sofa cover. So now just, it seems like the ideal time to get into a product like this. There's a lot of people I talk to that are within the home niche. And if I had a store within the home niche, then this product would definitely be um, on that store right now. Moving on to the last couple of points then, um, there's plenty of upsell opportunities, which is obviously a good thing. Um, the more money you can make per order initially, then the better. Um, and there's great profit margins too. So you, um, I started on the smallest one and then took the equivalent prices. So i.e. Um, £12.40 including e-packet. So that's including delivered to the customer. $29.99 retail price. So even for the very cheapest one, and this was just for an armchair too. So when you go up to a two-seat sofa, three-seat sofa, something like this, um, then you're making sort of pretty decent numbers per order. Um, anyway, so this leaves you with £17.59 profit per sale, which is a 1.7 break even ROAS. Facebook targeting wise for products like this. Now, I don't believe there's gonna be that many people aware that products like this exists. So I would go quite broad and base it on past purchase behavior and engage shoppers, online shopping, etc. cetera. Um, see what sticks and then start to narrow down a focus in um, like that. For example, though, you can actually target furniture and home improvement as certain interests. So if you are within the home niche and there are certain interests you've tested that have worked well, definitely apply them to this because you'll be able to replicate the same sort of success. 
Now, with that being said, guys, thank you very much for watching. That is all three products. I really do appreciate the support on every single video. Um, if you enjoyed it, then please hit that like button for your weekly dose. For the same again next week, three completely new products. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, for all my free eBooks and resources, um, check out the links in the video description below. And with that being said, I'm just gonna get into announcing the winner um, of the previous video for that one-to-one -one call. What's up guys? So this is my previous video then, 80 likes, which is absolutely awesome, so thank you very much. Um, anyway, let's get into announcing the winner. That is what we are here for. Continue to cite. Um, get YouTube comments, 19 unique comments. So thank you very much to everybody who entered the competition. And the winner of the previous video then is The Friendly Cat. So thanks very much for your comment. Hit me up on Instagram, we can get that call arranged. And guys, if you just wanna get straight down to business and book a call right away, um, you can do so. Just make sure you check out the links in the description below. Finally then, thanks very much for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed it um, and I'll see you in the next one.